Guys, today I'm going to be talking about a story that happened to me at Walmart. So, yes. So, guys, did. Wait, what am I doing? So, I guess we might as well get right into this video. So, I was at Walmart one time. And you know, every single kid from ages like 10 and younger, or maybe even older, like 13 or something, my brother goes to the toy aisle. Everyone goes to the toy aisle now. And really, I don't go to the toy aisle to look at toys. I like to look at the Nerf guns, of course, you know. But I like to go to the toy aisle to fool around. So one time, I went to the toy aisle, aisle and then I seen ball balls. So there's like, you know, like, if you go to, like, Walmart or, like, any, like, place. No, not Walmart, because Walmart doesn't sell them. Sometimes, only sometimes. So, like, there's a big, like, you know, box. And then it's like, you know, it's like basically like a big pillar. And it has all the balls inside. It's like a rope, like, you know. And you can grab the ball right out. So I grabbed this blue ball. I don't know what kind of color it was. And I kicked it up. So it hit the tile. And I didn't get the recorder, sorry. I hit the tile. The tile. So this is what I, this is what my view was. So I looked up and I see the tile. I thought it was stuck up there. So I looked up again and I seen it falling. So in my head, I was like, uh-oh. So I looked up again, and a boom hit me in my head. It wasn't, it was super light, you know, because I think so light. It, a little like, you know, like, push. Barely nothing. Barely nothing. So it was, I got hit. A other lady crouching got hit right next to me. And almost this, like, little, like, three-year-old kid got hit. Like, two-year-old kid. So after that, I absolutely was so stupid. I pushed the tile, hit the ground. I was really, you know, messed up because after that because I feel bad for those people because you, you get dust on your head. So I grabbed the ball. I have no idea why I grabbed this ball. I grabbed the ball again, and a kid said, there's a kid right next to me, I mean, right in the other aisle, and he said, what happened? So I said, I broke the tile. So I drew the ball at him and he picked up the ball. And a worker came out of, out of the door and he seen him with the ball. So this kid, I, I actually seen him. He dropped that ball and he fucking, fr freaking ran like aisles down. So now it was just me right now. So right now I was like sweating like crazy. My face was red as hell. And I seen a worker coming at me. So I was like, uh-oh. I didn't run. So I walked the uh, a different aisle. And they, didn't, they weren't following me. So I was like freaking out. Because I, I looked back at the aisle. And I seen like 10 workers there. My brother, on the other hand. I think he, they, um, he told them. So I absolutely was like. This is crazy. So I absolutely like freaked out. So I, I I basically start sprinting into the brawl section. I have no idea why. And I see this lady looking at me like. So I I, I run like crazy down aisles aisles. Eventually I stop, and I was like freaking out. I was by like the laptops and like tech stuff. So then I, w I calmed down myself and I got ready to cross the aisle because I knew that I would probably be looked at like crazy. So me walking down like nothing happened but I was absolutely like red as hell. People were looking at me like what am I doing? So I absolutely like, took a shortcut. So then my I called my mom. She was in the store though and then I told her what happened. Then, like a couple minutes later, well, she told me where she was. I couldn't find her though. She was like in the food section. Section. So then my brother called me saying that they put a big like tower thing where they go up on the roof. Or like not on top of the roof, but like on the ceiling. So they put back. I I didn't see it, but that's what he said. And then he, my brother said, called me back again, like two minutes after, saying that. They're, they want you. They're looking for you. So me, 
I was like, uh oh. So, I didn't listen to my brother at all. I seen workers coming by and like nothing. Like, they, they weren't even, they're clueless, like, who did it. Because they seen me and they seen the other kid. So, you know, it's like, and they see my brother, so they probably thought it was my brother as well. But I think they agreed with him that it was me. So me, of course, I didn't get caught. Uh, that's a good thing, because if I did get caught, then I would probably get kicked out. So yeah, I basically just got out of there. So I went back to the toy aisle. The workers were gone. The tile was back. So I was like, we need to get out of here. So my mom called me again, saying her, her location where she is. Can I find her? So my brother, I went to my brother and he, because my brother went to the, the tech section again. Oh, then he went to the tech section tech section to look at like iPhones and stuff and I was like buy like the furniture and stuff so I ran back to him and I said where is the, the food aisle so he bring me there because I have no, no idea even though there's signs it's so like hard to actually because once you look at the sign like there's like 20 aisles legit of food so you have to like you know go down each aisle and I couldn't find her eventually I found her though it, it was absolutely crazy. I absolutely thought I was going to get kicked out. I was really trying to keep myself cool because if I didn't, then I'm going to be exposed. But yeah. I, I want to forget that moment though. Because of one wrong move, guys, right there. I would have been done. I would have been kicked out from that one. I would have been banned, boy. Because breaking a tile, if you break a tile, then they get mad because... They have to go all the way back up to the ceiling and fix it. It's it's very easy to break them because you can just, like, if you kicked up the ball, you just, you can have to drop with the ball, hits the tile, and then it comes down. It's crazy. A bunch of dust. It was, it was like, very bad because of the dust. So I kind of get mad at myself for doing that. I was kind of like, yeah. But then when I was driving with my mom, when I was going home, I was like, I am so devastated that I didn't record this. Because some, sometimes, you guys know this, if you do something really crazy in life or you do something really, like, oppressive and you don't record it, I absolutely hate that. That's why I try to record everything, but I can't always because I would guarantee probably get exposed, I mean, kicked out because you're not supposed to record. I recorded many times, but the videos were like so cringy that I couldn't record them. Because when you record, there's people looking at you like you're, you're weird. So you gotta be really like, you can't be shy. Like I'm shy for if I record in a place where there's a bunch of people. Because really, if they look at you, they're gonna think like, what the hell, you're recording? <laughs> so I hope you guys did enjoy the story. Time's up again.